Good day everyone, Mark here. Today, I want to share with you how to prepare the VIR quarterly alpha list of phase QAP using the latest VIR data entry ver version 6.1 and data loader. So what does it mean? It means that instead of encoding the data in the VIR system line for line, item per item, in this tutorial, I will show you how to do it using data loader. The beauty of this process is that it's easier and faster whether you are working with fewer lines or more lines from 1 to 500 or 1000 lines, it doesn't matter because the data loader will help us load the data by just one click of our finger. So how do we do it? First, of course, we need to have the data that we will encode to the VIR data loader system. So this is the sample data that I have. Of course, this data comes from the accounting system that you are using, whether it's Oracle or SEP or whatever accounting system that, that you have. You just have to generate the monthly alpha list of pays and the system will generate. So for purposes of this example, we only need the following data. So here I'm just using month of October 2020. Of course, if you are working with a quarterly, you will have October, November, and December. We need the TIN of the supplier. Of course, the brand's code as indicated in the TIN whether it's 01, 02, and so on. Then, of course, the supplier name. And then the ATC and the tax base. In this example, I've shown also the rate and the expanded tax amount. But when we do it later, we don't need this data because the VAR data entry will only need the ATC and the tax base, and it will automatically compute the amount and choose the rate. So now that we have the data that we need to encode into the VAR data system, the next thing we want to do is to populate our data loader template. I have created this template so you can copy it. Just make sure you, you follow the same column. So in this example, we have the TIM. The first column is the TIM. So all we have to do is to copy and paste the TIN, branch code, the name, and if you and if your supplier is an individual, of course you need also to indicate the last name, first name, and the middle name. Then we have the ATC, and lastly, the tax base. Now, you will notice that in between the data, there's a tab, column. This means this is the shortcut command for data loader to go to the next field or column. So make sure you make sure to indicate tab in between the data and follow all the way to column U and or enter and now that we have already the template all we have to do is to copy this template to the data loader so now I will open the data loader the data loader is a free software just Google it and then download the free version and install it to your computer. So once you open the data loader, this is how it looks like. So all we have to do is to paste the data that we have copied from our data loader template from the Excel file. So this is it. Just control V and that's it. And then make sure to choose the window where we will 
load the data. So in this case, since we are loading it to BIR data entry system, we have to choose data attachment, attachment data entry system. And for the command group, choose other. Now, I have to highlight that you cannot choose attachment data entry system if the data entry system is not open. So make sure that is already open. So now it's time to open the BIR Alpha List Data Entry version 6.1. And since we are working with UAP or quarterly alpha list of KE, let's choose this type. And then choose 1601E. In the example, we are working for the month of October. So let's indicate 10, 2020. And then click Add or Update. And there we go. Now we are ready to load the data. Just click Add. And at this point, we need to go back to the data loader entry and start loading the data. So this is the data loader that we have prepared a while ago. It is ready to be loaded to the BIR data entry system. So how do we start loading? All we have to do is PC, just click this icon, start load. So after we click start loading, the data will now be loaded to the BIR data entry system line per line. So instead of doing it manually from row one to the last row, data loader will help us load it for us. So it's easier and faster. All you have to do is to create the template, copy the data from the Excel file that we have created, and then start loading to the BIR data entry system. It will save us a lot of time and effort, and it will make our life easier. So let's, let's just wait for it to be completed. We are now in sequence or line 15. We have line 19 as our example, so it's completed already. As you can see, sequence number 19. So now that we are done with the loading, it's time to generate the DAT file for validation and for submission to the submission module of the BIR. So all we have to do is exit key in the quarter Q4 generate file. So now that we have successfully generated the file, it's time to validate. So now I've opened already the alpha list validation module. All I have to do is to locate that file for validation, the one that we generated. So indicate month 10 or October. Validate. So this is where the file is saved as reference for the submission to the BIR. There it is. Thank you for watching everyone. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe for future videos. But in the next episode, I will share to you how to do the same process, but this time it's more faster and easier without using the data loader. Just using the Excel file that we have created a while ago, convert it into a dot file, and then validate and then submit to the BIR. It is much easier and faster regardless of the number of lines in your report. Stay tuned. Thank you once again and keep safe everyone.